The season finale of Big Brother. 90 minutes remain in the battle for the half million dollar prize, but it's still anyone's game as Rachel, Adam, and Portia battle to become the final head of household. This HOH will cast the sole vote to evict, and in doing so, choose whom he or she wants to face off against in the end. The evicted house guests will immediately join me here in the studio and take their seat as the seventh and final member, member of the jury. Then, the jury will question the finalists before casting their votes. So, who will make it to the final two and who will be crowned the winner of Big Brother? It all plays out live tonight. But first, when we last left the final three, they were mixing it up in part one of the final head of household competition. So glad I wore a nice shirt. I really need to win this competition right now. We're down to the final three. Every moment is so important. If I can win this one now, I get a good shot of winning it all. Whoa! Wait a second. Nobody told me we're going in this. So I know I have a final two deal with Rachel, but there's only three people left. My only guarantee is to win this myself. If you take me in final three, that you have a really good shot at definitely making it to the final two, because I'm going to take you. Ew, it feels so gross. It's like chunky. Uh -huh. In the face. I just don't know if I can really trust Portia. I have got to take the power into my own hands and win this endurance comp. If I don't win it, I might be kissing $500,000. Goodbye. Anybody else getting busy? Spinning around in a circle definitely does not do well for your stomach. The butter is gross, and honestly, I felt like I was going to add a few more chunks by spinning around. Look at the big brother now, right? Yeah. Let's see if we can stop this ride. Oh. You okay? Be okay. My arms are getting a little tired in this position. My legs are really starting to burn. You know, I'm trying to stretch one leg at a time. That's not helping at all. It's making it worse. This is not fun, but hold on, bro. Hold on. I ain't gonna lie, this ain't easy. My legs are killing me. I don't get you, Adam. This has been like your lifelong dream. Hey, if you want to give up right now because of a little bit of pain and let me win that $500,000, please go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to stay on much longer. Oh, my God. Good job, Adam. Adam. Good job. Are you okay, bud? Yes. I wanted to win this part so bad. I knew the longer I stayed up here, the more damage I was going to do to myself. So I needed to save any strength I had left for part two. Oh, We're just going faster and faster in circles. I'm definitely feeling a little ill, but I really need to win. So I'm staying on there for dear life. do not want to give up on this competition. Although, I don't want to be swimming in my own throat either. So, it's like a catch-22. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Me? Yeah. Good. I'm staying here all night. How are you? Not so good. Portia sounds like she's about to yak into the gutter, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like fall off, because I do not want to be hanging out in the row up gutter. I'm like thinking, just breathe, like hold on, do not fall off this thing. My stomach, my arms, everything. 
something was just hurting me. This is getting really difficult, and I don't know if I can hang on much longer. Coming up, Adam and Portia face off in part two of this all-important HOH competition. Then, the jury faces off in an intense debate over who should win. Stay with us. It's time for part two of the final three-part head of household competition. One at a time, Portia, then Adam, will take their shot with the hope of advancing to part three. First up, Portia. <laughs> and I see what looks to like a dunk tank, but it's actually an underwater maze. I love swimming, so I think I'll be good at this. Welcome to part two of the three-part head of household competition. Before you is an underwater maze. At the bottom are the faces of the previous heads of household. On go, hit your button and jump into the tank. Then find the face of the head of household and slide it through the maze to the correct spot. When the 11 heads of household are in the correct place, climb out of the tank, hit your button, and lock in your time. The house guest who correctly completes the maze in the shortest amount of time will move on to compete in part three against Rachel for the final head of household of the summer. I never practiced memorizing anything underwater. It's so hard to concentrate when you're holding your breath. It makes it a lot harder than it looks. See who the winner of the second. 
second part of the HOH competition is. The winner will face me in the third and final HOH competition. Adam, let's see what your time is. Six minutes and three seconds. Portia, your time will need to be better than six minutes and three seconds to win this second part. Your time is... I have my chance, I let it slip through my fingers. Now my fate is in Portia and Rachel's hands. I hope they realize it's a good strategy to take me to the finals. Good job. We're moving on. I have a final to do with Portia, so hopefully if she wins, she takes me. But hey, if I win, I gotta do what's best for me, even if that means breaking our deal. So. Rachel and Portia will face off live in part three of the HOH competition a little later. But who ultimately wins Big Brother will be in the hands of the jury who recently gathered to discuss the final three. The question is, can, get, can they get past their differences and get to the task at hand? <laughs> Next. Actually, I just hope Clea and Portia. Who do you want to see? Uh, I think I really want to see Portia. Who do you want to see? I think I'd like to see Rachel this evening. Ooh, what a shocker. <laughs> I'd really like to see Adam or Rachel. Adam kind of coasted. It's time for Adam to get out here, so. Wow. So, what happened? so much happened that next HOH, Rachel won. It was like <laughs> the hardest HOH ever. Like it's time to do like people plays or redundance everywhere. Oh, you missed me, guys! Oh, man. Yes! No. Yes! No. 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 I'm happy that you're here. Oh. Sorry, I missed you. It's okay. I'm sorry, you're It's okay. <laughs> Yeah, and who voted you up? Portia. Portia. Oh. I won the veto, but I knew with Portia, I knew she was going to vote me out. So yeah. I was just like, whatever. In the end, Portia, Adam, and Rachel. I would be interested to hear what you guys are going to judge people on to win this game. I'm very proud of Rachel. I think she's played an awesome game. She's won half the competitions, and I think she should win. I do. Rachel did her song and dance every single week about how she hates floaters, yeah. or, but she's the biggest floater in the house. Rachel floated to the HOH, whoever was the HOH, and tried to be friends with them. If she didn't play like that, I, I would be upset with her because she'd be sitting right here out with us. Being a strong competitor, able to change up your strategy halfway through the game, that's what it takes to be a good game player. Being annoying as she was, no offense. She made it through the end. The way that she treated people was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Well, I always said she's uh, as smooth as a rhinoceros in a uh, China store. I totally have changed my opinion of Rachel, at least on a strategic and game level. I think she's probably had the hardest road to run to the end, and I do believe that she deserves to be at the end. I guess for me, I don't understand at any point where you viciously, maliciously tear people out personally and then send them off with half a million dollars. I struggle with that. Shelly, you lied to everybody. I know. And you said a lot of mean things, too, about Rachel. You've said things about Danny. You've said things about Kalia. you said things about Portia. I still think that Rachel's level is different and that it wasn't strategic. Do you feel like you're rewarding somebody for that behavior? You guys had opportunities to get her out. Couldn't be that brutal because it's brutal. There's a lot of things she's done. I'm saying you guys could have done something about it if really in your heart you felt that disgusted about it. Yeah. Try about really it. hard. I mean, I would really love to talk about the other two as well. As far as Portia goes, I've talked to her seriously yeah. about eight minutes the whole time we were in the house. But maybe you guys could argue reasons why she does deserve it. I would like to hear. I mean, I think Portia has played the game, but when there isn't a need for you to jump out and do something, 
why would you jump out and put a bullseye on your back? You say, let me be quiet and shut my mouth and let me like chill until it's time for me to play this game. Portia has done nothing in this game. She just walked around in a bikini, cooked. I didn't even know she was in the house till day 52. Portia has played enough that she's where she is and she won when she needed what, to. You're not giving me anything. What, why, That's what, what I'm giving Portia? you. Give me an example. Like she just won the veto when she was on the block. She won the veto the week of the double eviction with you and then won the next HOH. I mean, she won when she had to. And yeah. Portia played a better game I mean, than Adam. Adam. Because of the competitions, Portia still won more than Adam. Losing the game, he was offered several opportunities to make big moves, and he coasted. I think Adam did play both sides to keep himself safe, but he showed his loyalty to me. Staying loyal and true is a big part of, of winning this game to me. Adam, when he gave his word, he was loyal to it. However, Adam Wiffle waffled all the time. Adam walked in the house from day one and was playing the game. Portia wasn't playing the game till day 50. I just think at the end of the day, he never did. He would go to you, he would go to you, whoever, for what's my final decision? I like, what am I gonna do? And that's what he would do. I think he did what he wanted to do. 100% disagree. I believe that Adam has created a new place, and that is called a piggybacker. Adam never, ever thought for himself. Portia, at the end of the day, he made her own decisions. But Portia didn't really do much of anything. The only time I ever heard her talk strategy is when you and Portia played Danny's game. Oh, we played Danny's game? game? You okay. guys talked about Danny's all the time. Let me just, like, clear it all, all up. Time. Let me just clear it all up for everyone. We don't so need to be clear. I'm going to clear it up. I need to clear it up. Then please, by all means, I will say until the cows come freaking home that I did not play Daniel's game. I played my own game. The cows came home. You did the right. The cows did not. They did not find okay. anybody's game. I'm just trying to tell you. That's fine. Let me talk. Okay, bully tactics. Why well, one? Surprise, surprise. You're the one yelling louder than me. I played my own game. We played together. End of story. Period. Well, well good point. I guess the show was over. Yes, yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. Getting adjourned. And Rachel face off live for their chance at winning it all. Part three of the final head of household competition is next. Stay with us. Welcome back to the season finale of Big Brother. In just moments, Portia and Rachel will battle it out live in the final round of the head of household competition. The winner will then decide who she wants to evict, and in doing so, who she will go up against for the half million dollar prize. Let's go to the living room and get things started. Hello, house guests. Hey, Julie. Well, for the final time this season, the power is up for grabs. Portia, Rachel, as winners of the first two rounds of the HOH competition, you are the only ones eligible to compete. It's time to see how well you know the members of the jury. I will read the beginnings of statements made by each of the six members of the Big Brother jury. For each, I will give you the choice of two possible endings. You must decide how you think that juror completed that statement. The answer will be either A or B. For every correct answer, you will receive one point. The house guests with the most points at the end of six questions will be crowned the final head of household. Are you ladies ready? Yes. yes. Then let's begin. Question one. Brendan said, the moment in the house that I'm afraid to have my friends and family see is A, the moment I was evicted the second time, or B, not doing better in endurance competitions. Answers, please. Let's hear what Brendan said. The moment in the house that I'm afraid to have my friends and family see is the moment I was evicted the second time. Which makes the correct answer A. You both got it wrong. Reset. Question two. Danielle said the most shocking moment in the house was when A. America voted Brendan back into the game. Or B. I found out my dad would not be returning to the game. Answers, please. Let's hear, I need an answer. Let's hear what Danielle said. The most shocking moment in the house was when 
I found out my dad would not be returning to the game. Which makes the correct answer B. Rachel, you got it right. You get one point. Reset. Question three. Shelly said, the fatal error I made in the house was A, turning against Jeff and Jordan, or B, voting to evict Jeff one week too soon. Answers, please. I need an answer. Let's hear what Shelly said. The fatal error I made in the house was voting to evict Jeff one week too soon. Which makes the correct answer B. You both got it wrong. Reset. Question four. Jeff said, the best thing about being in the house was A, getting to spend the summer with Jordan, or B, getting rid of Danielle. Answers, please. Let's hear what Jeff said. The best thing about being in the house was getting to spend the summer with Jordan. Which makes the correct answer A. You both got it wrong. Reset. Question five. Kalia said, the biggest lie told in the house this season was A, that Adam was loyal to the newbies, or B, anything that came out of Shelly's mouth. Answers, please. I need an answer. Let's hear what Kalia said. The biggest lie told in the house this season was anything that came out of Shelly's mouth. Which makes the correct answer B. And with only one question left, there is no reason to continue. It makes you, Rachel, the final. moments for your decision. Thank you. Who will Rachel choose to face off against? The half million dollar prize and who will walk out of the Big Brother house empty handed? Stay with us. So Rachel became the final head of household of the summer. Now she must choose to evict either Portia or Adam, automatically ensuring the remaining house guests a spot in the final two. Let's head to the living room for her decision. Hello, final three, Portia, Adam. In just a few moments, Rachel will cast her vote to evict, but before she does, you each have one last chance to plead your case. And Portia, you're first. Well, Rachel, we started this game off as really great allies, and we've ended it that way as well. So I would really love for you to take me to the final two with you. You've been a great competitor. Um, I mean, obviously, you just totally killed me <laughs> in that last HOH, so I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Portia. Adam? All the metalheads at Yankee Stadium, hope you're DVRing this. Big Four, Metallica Slayer, Megadeth, Anthrax, Raw! You told me week one you did not want to see a floater win this game. When Portia needed the golden key, she was with you guys. As soon as Brendan left, she was not with you. I was with you, I supported you, I pumped you up, I kept you going. As soon as the game came near an end, she needed you again, she came right back to you. Last year you said floaters grab a life vest, this year floaters grab a paycheck, it's up to you. Sorry, had to do it. But congratulations, you kick butt, Thank you're a great you. competitor. Thank you. Whoa, that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you both. Rachel, you are now guaranteed at least second place and the $50,000 prize, but you have a huge decision to make. By deciding whom to evict, you're also deciding who will be sitting next to you when you face the jury later tonight. Rachel, this is a half million dollar decision. Are you ready? No. <laughs> Too bad. Please stand, Rachel, and cast your vote to evict. Um. It's been amazing competing with both of you side by side. Um, I would have. This is so surreal for me. I have 
fought my heart out this entire game. I was a target walking in that door, and I had to win HOHs, POVs, and my fiance was evicted twice. I've had to play this game 100% by myself. I had allies, yes, but by the same token, I was one of the biggest targets in this game. And I thought, I feel like I've deserved and earned my spot here. The last, in the last few weeks, I have fought side by side with one person and this person has helped me with the game and um, I know you said earn your spot here, Adam, and I've earned it. Um, I am so sorry. I have to evict you. I've made a deal with Portia. It's official, Adam. You are the last person to be evicted from the Big Brother house. Alright, I hope it's... Okay, but... Thank you. Michael, the appointment here, we had so much fun. Yeah. Julie, I'm coming out to see you. Where are you next? Just the way I came in, the way I go out. Oh! Decision. Did she make the right decision by choosing to sit next to Porsche at the end? Because let's face it, you weren't the best in competitions. No, but hey, I did step up. I, I did well. You know, and Porsche well. stepped up towards the end. Yes, yeah, she did. Yes, she sure did. did I, I won O10 and I won the uh, final HOH before this. Uh, I think I did pretty yes, well. Yes, you did. But, uh, yeah, but did she we, definitely, she did definitely we, made the right decision. She made the right decision by evicting you? Yeah, of course. Because if, if I was in the final two, I would have won. <laughs> I played an honest game this year. I played with people. I use my uh, sense of humor to get to know people. And in the jury, the people that are there, they would definitely vote for me. Well, now you are a member of a jury. I am. The jury, and you will help decide who wins Big Brother. Yes. Adam, thank you. Julie, it was great to meet you. I'm sorry that you weren't handing me a check. <laughs> and, 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 and tell your girl, Sharon, that uh, whenever Ozzy comes around, please remember, remember I will me. hook you up. Thank I you. Will hook you up. The fate of the final two now rests in the hands of the jury. Please welcome Brendan. 